first i will show you how to install python mm. and then to run the python there is a platform called pycharm pycharm id where you will write the code and run it see first uh, i will show you how to install python okay mm. and to write the code you can write the code in many ways like you can write the code in command prompt mm. cmd prompt okay but it's not a good way like you, uh, user experience will not be good mm. then other thing is you can write the code in notepad okay but this is also good comparatively but i have better option for this one that is pycharm pycharm charm is one of the ide integrated development environment basically it provides you one environment mm. where you will write the code and then uh, it will help you to write the code and this will uh, like uh, display the output and all like user experience will be good as compared to the command prompt and all that uh-huh. i will show you how it is better mm-hmm. so first we'll do this thing then i will show you a little example in command prompt then i will show you a little example in notepad Mm. and then i will make you realize why we need something better than this thing mm. and then we will jump to pycharm there are many other options also uh, based, uh, parallel to pycharm like anaconda those mm. things mm. the best is pycharm okay so we will start with the python first mm. so in python uh, download from python.org Yours is Windows 10, right? Correct. Now oh, this window will come. Okay. Hmm. So normally you can go with the this uh, install now only. Hmm. But uh, this is the best way. Customize installation. Hmm. everything should be checked okay go okay, to next then click here install for all users okay mm will python 310 hello ah yeah see this is the one like uh, uh, sometimes so randomly it will install anywhere mm mm-hmm. But it is showing in program files one uh, uh, Python 310. Uh, Normally, no, no, create 310 kind of like. Uh, 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 future you can install one more version of Python. Let us say 311 came. Uh, so you can create another folder of 311. Three, uh, and then you can install there. Okay. This is fine. For me, I have done that this part manually. Uh, and install this one. Yeah, I can't see your screen desktop. Yeah. Yeah. Just asking for the admin of this one. Okay. It was successful. Python done. Done. Yeah. See, once it is done, you can open the command prompt to confirm it is uh, installed or not. So once you will type Python, mm. it enter. You mm. will get something like this. Mm. It means at least you are not getting error. Okay, it is showing Python 3.10. This is the version you installed, right? Okay. It means successfully Python is installed. Okay. Now you can exit from here. From oh. here means you are exiting from Python. Now oh. your normal command prompt window came, right? This, okay. see this location and all. Mm. If it was Python, then I'm entering, entering. You know, see this one. Mm. What is the symbol? Mm. It means now you are inside the Python. Oh. Now the normal command it will not take. Normal means uh, if you want to go to particular folder and all, no? it won't take those commands because right now it is inside the Python. It will take all the commands relevant to the Python only. You got it? Yeah. So, because the Python is installed in your system, now I can write 
code here. It is one of the function in Python. See, it is giving the output here. Print Lalit. Okay, Lalit is key. This is the uh, input. This is my code. Mm. Below is the output. Now I will write, I will show you one small program. That is what I was thinking. Now I want to see Thank you. the complete program. Okay. A value I have given, B value I have given, C value, and now I want to see the output. What is C is holding? So output will come as 10 plus 20, 30, right? Mm -hmm. So I am writing a complete code here. Mm -hmm. Full program coding I can do here in the command prompt. But this is not a good idea, right? Sure. I mean, this is not uh, user friendly. Definitely. So what I can do? I will go to your desktop. Mm -hmm. One folder here. So your screen is little bit. Uh, what happened? Why it is uh, going up and down screen? Or uh, something problem with your screen? Okay. Can you come to my screen? I will share my screen. Yeah. I think I have already shared my screen, right? You can see my screen now. In Skype, huh? huh? Yeah, Skype I can see. Yeah, in Skype you can see, right? Mm. See here, okay. So let us say uh like i have shown you right in the command prompt how i was writing the code Correct. and i am repeating okay so uh, but I want some better way to write the code. Uh, like I don't feel comfortable in writing the command prompt. So the mm -hmm. first thing in, uh, it will come in my mind if I can write the code in the notepad that will look little better, right? Mm. So notepad or let us say text also will work. Not a problem. Oh, no. Okay, I will write down one code here. A equals to 10, B equals to 30, C equals to A multiplied by B. Mm. Okay. And then print C. Mm. Now what I have to do, I have to save it. Whatever the name you want to give, dot py. Note this thing. I have given dot py here. Okay. Once I will save this one, hmm. see how see the symbol how it came. Hmm. This is because Python is already installed here. Mm -hmm. Now what I will do? I will take this location. Hmm. Go to my command prompt. Hmm. I have to exit from here, okay? Because right now I was inside the Python. Hmm. So all the commands it will take that is relevant to the Python only. So I, I have to exit that Python. Mm. Okay, now here I will go to that location. Okay. Desktop delete. I came to that location. Okay. Mm. Now I will run that code. This thing Python code one, right? So I have to write Python. Python means so prefix you have to give, and that file name is Python code one, right? One. See this one. 
say mm. is a multiplied by b right mm. you are getting 300 no mm. this is one of the way you can do okay. give this one now i will go again here python means prefix you have to give your file name was python code one then mm. dot py okay. See, previous program, new program. Mm -hmm. So this way you can write the code in your notepad. Okay. Okay. But what uh, uh, things can be improved here? No? Let us mm -hmm. say I'm writing code here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm saving this one with particular mm -hmm. name dot py. And then I'm going back to command prompt and then running here, right? Correct. So your experience will be better if you will get all these things. So in a single interface that would be good right correct no correct. so that to improve the user experience uh, this option is there see I, I can write the code here instead of saving that one directly i can run from here mm. right click or run when i will run this one automatically it will save mm. and the output which i was supposed to see in the command prompt that output i can see below here only okay okay and then while doing this thing let us say uh, in between like at the advanced level of coding i want to do some uh, give some command in the command prompt only so this command prompt i can control from here only this see this terminal this terminal is uh, same thing as this command prompt so all options came in one interface only uh -huh. also when you are writing code here no in this uh, in this uh, notepad let us mm -hmm. say i'm writing print and then going inside this one see i am giving this column and then any string and i have to close this string with again this column right mm -hmm. so instead of closing um, from my side mm -hmm. this uh, pycharm this way he will automatically close you understood no? if, like it will support it will suggest the syntax only mm. i will give one automatically it will suggest the second one mm -hmm. but if i will write put the p you know automatically it will suggest print mm. automatically it is suggesting uh -huh. got it sometimes let us say any function is there mm. one dot c so many function it is suggesting you know? along with that if you will see you know see i want to do the sort so it is mm. suggesting the syntax also self key reverse these terms you don't worry now later on you will understand okay so every time i cannot uh, memorize the syntax no mm. so it is suggesting me that syntax also okay. you got it no and see how mm. it is like uh, these reserved words are coming in some blue color black mm. color it is showing for some functions Mm. So this different different color, no? Like user experience will be good. Like when I'm watching this thing, uh, analyzing the code, uh, mm. the experience is little better. Mm. So all these uh, like it will uh, uh, features, so it will improve the user experience. So uh, you you, you will only realize instead of writing the code in Notepad, it's better to write it write it in a pie chart, right? Mm. So this is the reason uh, like uh, pie chart will be preferred. Okay, so we will install PyCharm now. You understood now your usage of uh, PyCharm, why we need PyCharm? Yeah, hey, I understood. I can, you know. Uh... The program we can write there and we can see the output of that exactly there. And you can you write can... Uh, in a notepad also, but uh, to increase the user experience better. Mm. Okay, so because uh, uh, we are talking about the Python only, mm. so let me show you something in uh, Python first, then we'll start this PyCharm thing. Okay. 
Just come. You are seeing my screen, right? Yeah. yeah. So let me go back to Python again. Now I'm inside the Python. Okay. See, sometimes what I will do, no? Uh, let us say uh, I want to use the calculator. So what we'll do? We'll go to the Google and open the calculator, right? Mm. But because Python is already installed in your system, you can use this command prompt mm. to use the calculation through via Python. Okay. 10 plus 10 it is 20. 12 multiplied by 5 it is 60, right? It should be 60. Yeah. You understood, no? Mm. You can use because uh, Python is already installed, so you can use it as a calculator also. And okay. sometimes in the like, uh, what is that? I want to see any uh, larger calculation like two raised to power five. Okay. So raised to power means double multiply. So okay. two to the power five. Mm. It will show me as a thirty-two. Raised to power ten mm. will come as one zero two four. Multiplied by 10. Got it. Sometimes we need no calculator fastly. Yeah. So no need to go in Google and open the Google calculator. Simply open this uh, command prompt, activate the Python, and then you can do this thing. Okay. Python as a calculator in command prompt. Yeah. 